Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a how-to video for diagnosing the annoying trailer wiring fault message that appears on your truck when towing. I walk through each step of troubleshooting by process of elimination. And before we get started, I'm posting weekly videos for you guys. So I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content. And as always, I've included the tools and products that I'm using in the description below. So make sure to click on those links and check them out. All right, let's get started. Here are a few quick things to check while in a pinch on the side of the road. First, make sure the trailer plug is plugged in all the way. Then try spraying the plug out with a compressor to make sure there's no sand or debris in there. The solar still shows lights though. Yeah, it's because it's connected to the battery. The controller is. So we would have to undo the battery cables from the solar to truly disconnect it completely. Wow, that didn't take long. Trailer, yes, trailer. Also, you can, like, if you squeeze this and go in a little bit, it applies the brakes, it'll give you a percentage. Yep. And then if you do it all the way, it'll lock it up. Yep. 100%. Um, yeah. I never used that. Yeah, when you're towing big trailers, it's super helpful. And then the plus or minus is here when I can set it for what I want it to be. Yeah, so you can see the gain set at 0.5. Yeah. You can set it all the way up to 10 if you hit the plus on there. Oh, yeah. See? It's yeah. starting to go up. What, what do you have yours set at? It's somewhere between 8 and 10 normally. Oh, really? um, but I've heard like once your brakes become more worn, then your gain will typically go up. So it usually means you need to adjust your brakes. See, the gain doesn't matter when you're using the slide. It's only based on when you step on the pedal how much brake it's applying. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, nothing. Nothing going there. So that means it's definitely trailer side. Yep. We had Connecticut Trailer replace the electrical trailer plug whip and all the cabling between the axles in case one was exposed in the axle tube. They also serviced our brakes and bearings. In the past, I've replaced the trailer plug on two different trailers and it solved the problem. Okay, so we thought we had the trailer fixed with some of those electrical fault problems we were having on the truck, but it turns out we're getting intermittent problems still. So we're gonna try adding another ground on the truck and camper. We'll just do a T-tap and then find another ground source and screw into the frame. Maybe it'll solve our problem. Probably doesn't hurt, especially since we added solar to the camper. Just a little bit of copper there. That's all we need. So we ran some testing today. I ended up taking apart the connections here at the brakes and had Stasha step on the brakes on the truck. And we plugged the camper in. And I wasn't getting any voltage back here. 
So that tells me there's something going on between the brakes and everything that was replaced up at the J-Box at the front of the camper. And I opened this up and I started just tracing back both of them enter in on this side. But what's interesting is, after looking further, see this red line up there? That's the brake line. And the flooring is sitting on top of it in two spots. So, I think this goes to show us, you know, every time we hit the bumps, originally is when this started to replicate the issue. So I think just the weight of the floor is causing these wires to be pinched off. So definitely a grand design manufacturing problem here. Why is the flooring sitting on the brake lines? I can't pull them, I can't move them because there's so much weight on there. And the fridge is right above here. So I think we found our culprit. We've got new brake line on order on the way. It should arrive here in a couple of days. We got the new electrical cable in and I'm gonna be pulling new 10 gauge duplex wire for our brakes. And uh, hopefully this solves our problem with losing our trailer brakes, which you kind of need. So I've got my uh, wire fisher and I'm starting back here at the brakes and I'm just gonna start pulling them forward towards the front and connect it in the J box where the existing uh, brake lines connect right now. Just a little bit at a time, work my way down. Eventually we'll get this together. Okay, moment of truth. I think we got all the wiring done. Let's see if this solved our problem. I think we might have fixed it. If that doesn't work, our next thought is maybe it's the controller for the trailer brake controller, the brakes for the manual override, because every time you engage those is when most of the problems happen. So it could be that that is fried, even though we tested the uh, fuses for it. If you're receiving the message trailer brake module fault, open up the panel below the steering wheel and make sure the harness is plugged in all the way until it clicks. So that was my how-to video on troubleshooting the trailer wiring fault message when towing. Now this is typically on the trailer side, but if you're still experiencing this problem, it could be your trailer brake controller. And if you're wanting to look into that, check out my video here, replacing the trailer brake controller. Thanks for watching.